Black Rock. It's off till Monday. It's David Harvey stepping in for him uh, yesterday and today. And uh, you're welcome to the program. If you want to text us, uh, 87 77 11 103. You can call the studio as well, 0818 303 103. Now, proposals to move a Gale Skull, currently based in Wicklow Town, to a new shared site in Rathnew, already occupied by St. Cohen's Primary School, is continuing to face strong opposition from parents of pupils at both schools. They've raised a number of concerns, including the size of the children's play area, traffic chaos, and not enough bike parking. Well, are there uh, concerns justified? Fianna Fáil TD, Pat Casey's on the line. Pat, good morning. Good morning, David. How are you? This Thanks morning? for coming on. Are there concerns justified? I mean, or is it a, a, a storm in a teacup? No, I think in fairness, I've met the parents now on a number of occasions in re- relation to the location of the new proposed Gale School. And uh, in fairness, the Gale School have been struggling to find a home now for over 14 years, and we've been dealing with this issue for a long time. But I, I think it's the practicality of this and the practicality of sharing this, this site with St. Conan just really isn't feasible not in the immediate short term, but definitely not not in the long term. Why? Too many people, size, too many kids, too many pupils, too many parents? Yeah, the size of the site they're proposing for the Gale Skull on is only 1.2 acres. And the department only a few years ago refused to fund the Gale Skull on a site of 1.7 acres. So now they've lost half an acre and the department are trying to push ahead with it. Equally, the whole gradient on the site, where it's located, the traffic and all, is from a practical point of view... It's, it's not suitable, it's not workable. But then when you look even into the medium term and look what's going to happen to the population of Wicklow Town and Ratnew, where the Wicklow Town and Ratnew have to deliver another 4,000 houses by 2019 for population growth. So we will ham- hamper St. Conan from future expansion and definitely hamper the Gale School from future expansion. They're just the practicalities of it. Then you get into the value for money, the size, the site. As I said, the gradient on the site, the value for money, the extra cost in delivering the, the school on that site because it's gone complex. Yeah, okay. Well, if, if not there, where? Well, I suppose they're currently in, 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 the Abbey, uh, in the Abbey School in Wicklow Town. We could indeed look at that as an option of redeveloping that as, as the Gale School, as they are there at the moment, with the KWETB, and, and, and leave them where they are at the moment. Well, if there is traffic issues there, they can be dealt with with a traffic management plan put in place there. Okay, well, why do these things take so long? I mean, you, you know, this is something going back years and years. Uh, successive ministers for education, successive uh, interference or lack of interference. Why do these things just not get to a resolution? Why do they drag on and on and on like this? Well, it's, well the process now that we, we go through in relation to not just schools, but in relation to everything, maybe we do have to question the, the, the whole consultation and the length of time that it takes to get through these things. As I said, there was, they had a couple of sites identified for the Gale School. They went for planning on one, they were refused. Planning on one, they got planning on the second one. The department came in and said, no, the site was too small. It was a 1.7 acre site. And now the department's putting on a 1.2 acre site, which the parents feel is wrong. And they just feel it's the wrong site, it's the wrong location. And it, it doesn't cater for any future expansion at all for either St. Conan's or for the Gale School. And the department would be back here in a year or two looking for additional space to extend both schools, and this site will not facilitate. Okay, but, you know, uh, we're, we're talking about it. Uh, who or what can bring this matter to a resolution? Uh, at the end of the day, I suppose it is the Minister. I have been communicating with the Department and, indeed, with the Minister, uh, and I have, indeed, been, been in communication with our own Minister, Simon Harris, on this issue as well, and we are, indeed, hoping to set up a meeting with the Minister for Education to see can we resolve this issue. Because there is a practical solution, and the practical solution is the current site that they're, they're, they're on at the moment. Okay, how many parents, how many pupils does this affect? Well, I think there, there has been a petition signed, and I think the petition has been signed by over 300 parents at, at, the, at this stage. So most of the parents at the Gale School are in favour of staying where they are, and, and, and most of the parents, I believe, in St. Conan's, now I haven't been in contact with them, equally would prefer that that site would be kept for their future expansion because Rat New is going to double in population within the next three to four years. All right, Pat. Uh, thanks for joining us. Pat uh, Casey there, uh, local Fianna Fáil TD. Um, founding chairman of the Gale Skull is uh, Thomas O'Mwellet, and he's on the line. Thomas, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly, have I? 
Omonila. Omonila. Well, it just shows you I shouldn't be in a gay school, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, your view on this and, and, and exactly what the, the, the pros and cons of the site are, where you should move, whether it should stay, what do you think? Well, I, I agree with everything Pat, Pat says there. Uh, but I, I've been, I suppose, uh, l- looked at it, I've been, been involved. I made an objection to Board Panola uh, several years ago. The, the site in that new is completely unsuitable. It, it simply should be a play what they designate as the, the site. It is so small, uh, but it is suitable for a play area, a green play area for the children of St. Cohen's. And that is what it should be uh, only. Um, it, it is so small, they've had to plan for three stories. Um, they couldn't fit in the required, the normal standard bicycle parking now. It is so small that they couldn't. And we're, talking, we're not talking about Manhattan here, we're talking about Wicklow. And um, the site is so small, <clears throat> um, children will primarily they, 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 they will have no place to play. And with obesity and all the other issues were, 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 were coming across, health issues, um, children need it's an extremely important part of their, their day, the, the, the physical play um, uh, where, where they, they, they can run about. There's no place for that. Okay, well, we, you know, when it said in, in the opening here, it says proposals to move. In other words, you're being forced to move. Oh, we're uh, being forced to move. Well, how, how, how do you how do you how do you counteract that? If you're being forced to move, you're not being given too many choices. What's going to happen in the end? Do you think? Well, the 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 school um, they haven't gone for tender yet, and um, the if we look at the the, the action, I, I got this information under Freedom of Information. There's some very very serious. Uh, financial matters behind this. First of all, the site, now, uh, you, you might find this extraordinary, the site was bought in January, now, January 2011, right? Now, we had the Troika were running the country at the time. The country was broke. We had imposition of USC, all sorts of other taxes. And the department paid one point, over $1.7 million for this site. Now, and the site included two they, they allowed to the, the owners two rights away, one going fully north-south, the other going east-west. Now, I, I was, was quite astounded when I got this, and I was thought, that, that price is ridiculous. How, how could they pay that at that particular time in the country broke? But anyway, what eventually I got, I got another valuation that the department themselves in September 2007. Now, September 2007 was the height of the land boom. And Douglas Newman Good valued this exact site with no encumbrances, no rights away on it, this site at 1.25 million at the height of the boom in land prices. And then four years later, the department, or three and a half years later, the department paid more than 50% more for this same land. And there's something extraordinary about that. Now, the land itself is just extraordinary. It is on a very steep slope. It has been described by Wicklow County Council as a substandard site. It is very, very small. Um, and the, the uh, people who are designing it now have found that if the building goes ahead, there will be abnormal costs. No, abnormal costs, even in 2000, they had estimated abnormal costs in 2015, and prices have gone up since, abnormal costs of over a million let me just take it. One million one hundred seventy-six thousand eight hundred. To build. To build. No, this is extra on top of it. If it was on a normal, these are abnormal extra costs. Right. Now, it was going to it cost. The estimated is going to cost over five million to build, but abnormal costs uh, of this. And so, those thirty-nine, the, ex, the estimated thirty-nine percent abnormal cost due to the very heavy rock and the complexity of the site that required all sorts of extra uh, engineering work to be done. Okay, so what we're looking at, we're looking at an abnormal site needing additional costs to build the school. Uh, yeah. it, it clearly, in, in terms of its footprint, isn't big enough. It encroaches on the existing school that's there. And uh, as, as, as Pat said, uh, you know, really what you're looking at is something that is no better than a playground space for the existing primary school. So it's, it's all negative, but what's your suggestion? Simply, the, the grade school at the moment is located in the Abbey. The children are delighted to be there. They have every break time they're out, and you pass by there, they're playing, they're hurling, football, soccer, uh, 
basketball. They're, they're, they're in heaven at break time there. There'll be none of that in Matthew, uh, because the space won't be there. Now, if the site is given, if that um, plot is given to the St. Cones in Matthew, they'd have the same. But at the moment, they can't, uh, because it's still a rough, uh, rough site out there. So stay where we are. Now, the department have already, it's, it's owned, the building is owned by uh, the uh, Wicklow, is there Wicklow DEC, but that's ultimately under the control of the Department of Education. Um, the building does need some upgrading. The department have already spent 250000 on it. It does need some upgrading, but perfectly happy there until, uh, and, and spend a fraction, a fraction of the cost on uh, upgrading the building in, uh, at, at the Abbey and leave the site in Rathnew to the school there. Okay, well, that seems it, se- it seems it seems re- it seems relatively straightforward. If you've just joined us, uh, you uh, thank you, Tomas. If you've just joined us, um, we're talking about proposals to move a Gael Skull, currently based in Wicklow Town, to a new shared site in Rathnew. We've heard from Pat Casey, TD. We've heard from uh, Tomas Samuele, who is the uh, founding chairman of Gael Skull Kilmontown. Let's hear from Community Representative Larry Ellis is on the line. Larry, uh, what's your view of this? Um, my view is that the. That the green, the, the, where the proposal to put the Gale School is the original green site, green area on the school, and uh, it has left the children in the new Rathney School, which is only six months old, open six months now, and we're already having to put some kids in the car park to play because there's no play areas. There's two basketball courts. The number of students at the moment is 270, and the school is built for a growth of 480 students, 450. And that's without the Gale School, which would bring the student population on the site. The total site is 2.7 acres. So there's um, an inner kind of relief road around the site. And at the moment, the parents are just in disbelief as they're waiting for the green area to be developed. They talk when they send their children to the school that it would have a green area. And now they found out that the Gale School is going to be built on that site, which could, in the long run, increase the population of students up to 900 children um, and which which purely from a traffic management point of view is is probably unsustainable it's totally unsustainable it's chaos at the moment i mean when the kids moved into school they had a, a day out and then there was a you know a 58 theater bus organized and the bus couldn't get out over the exit without going over footpaths and reversing back reversing back and forth it's just chaos so now the kids are going on day out will have to be done on smaller buses, so they just can't cater for a normal standard size bus. And the second and third plan, their play area is the car park, the drop-off point, which the gates now have to be closed in the morning at 9.30, so no visitors can drive into the school. Um, that's to allow, allow the kids to play in that. They're having to rotate the play times already. And that's for 270 students. So, as has already been Dead by Pat Casey, the population in the area is going to explode over the next five to ten years or even sooner. So um, it's just the parents that are in disbelief at the moment because we have waited since 1964 for this school. That new boys' school was on a temporary site for 52 years. The site was identified and, uh, by the late Jerry Doyle. Who, he was a local architect and history and wants to see the new school in that new. He identified the site. He met with the landowners and his, his ideas not came to fruition with the new school, but not with it, without a green area. The original plan had a football pitch, green areas, and now we're being told that the kids have nowhere. All right, well, it looks like one of these stories is going to run and run. Larry Ellis, thank you very much, and also to Tomas and also to Pat Casey for joining us on the line. Uh, we'll be hearing more about that, no doubt, over the cur- over the uh, uh, the next few months. Uh, but it's very, very difficult to find anyone who supports the proposal. All right, 25 minutes to 11. It's uh, David Harvey here on East Coast FM. If you want to text the studio, 087 77 11 103. You can call us uh, 0818 303 103. More to come.